In today's video, we're going to talk about four things to look for when rehabbing older homes, coming up next. Older homes are often very unique and offer lots of historic charm that just can't be found in homes built today, which many home buyers appreciate. But they also come with outdated layouts and construction that you need to be aware of. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel. I'm Joe Holmes. I made this channel for the new and experienced investor. Help me grow by subscribing and sharing this video with anyone who wants to create the life they've always wanted through real estate. Number one is the electrical. And if we're talking about houses built in the 1900s and 1910, 1920, you're definitely going to have uh, electrical issues. And usually these old homes have to be rewired. You have to have a new electrical panel installed uh, just to come up to today's standards. Number two, closet space. So in an older home like this, you're not going to find a walk-in closet. You're literally going to find a small box in the room, and you kind of have to make that work. Uh, you may have to frame in a closet to make it look uh, a little bit nicer. Um, or come up with some other idea for a closet. Number three, sewer line and plumbing both are going to be concerns. Uh, the plumbing that was used in the early 1900s is galvanized plumbing um, or iron pipe. Uh, any of those are really not acceptable nowadays. Um, the sewer line going out to uh, the street may be clogged, and it's something that you're going to need to check when you go do a, uh, an inspection. And so for the most part, uh, most of these homes are on raised foundations, which makes it easy for uh, the contractor to work underneath and put in uh, new piping, whether it's uh, you want to use upgraded copper or PEX piping, which is uh, plastic. Either or is functional, but Definitely, when you're rehabbing an older home, that whole thing needs to be done. Number four is energy efficiency. And if you're getting a permit and you're replacing windows, they're going to want you to replace them with dual pane windows. So you have to maybe go to a custom window and that if it's of historical value, you're going to have to probably have a wood frame around it and uh, make it look so that it fits in the 19, early 1900s uh, style. Um, it just can't be a dual pane plastic window that you slap up there because that's not going to look very good. So you may have to pay a little bit more to get that custom window uh, that complies with the new rules and regulations that we have out today. Fixing up older homes may require a lot more work to bring up to date. But the payoff of having a unique and charming home to sell can make it all worth it. Make sure that you look for these four items that we discussed when you go in for your inspection so that you know what you're getting yourself into. If you need help analyzing deals, click on this video right here. I show you three different ways to know if you have a deal or not. Or just feel free to reach out anytime. I'm always here to help. 